Join us as we head to the diving mecca of Hapai Tonga, a stunning group of islands with some world-class spear fishing. We feed the local shark population and have some visitors drop by. A last minute opportunity came up and we were lucky enough to score a spot on a 10 day spearing trip in Hapai. It's a central island group of Tonga and is accessible by a 40 minute plane flight or an 18 hour ferry ride. We arrived at our accommodation and spent the afternoon rigging up our gear for our first day. Our first spot would be an offshore volcano. With long run out we needed near perfect weather and the stars had miraculously aligned for day one, which was also Michael's birthday. Cal Volcano is one of the most picture perfect volcanoes you could ever imagine. It is the perfect backdrop to this colossal dive spot. And Michael chose it to release his message in a bottle that he'd found on the beach the day before. We've been told this was a spot to land big doggies. Our first drift, we'd seen plenty of 30 kilo models, but held off in the hope of getting a big one. We get to pull the trigger on any doggies when some nice wahoo started to show up. Michael let the spear fly. In true wahoo form, it took off like a rocket. I dived down to try and scare off the sharks and they kept their distance briefly, but it didn't take long before they started going after Michael. who didn't get eaten is beyond me. The sharks were all over it. Shortly after, the current dropped off and the fish disappeared just before Michael's birthday present showed up. So what, where did that whale shark come from? Because we swam after it and then the next thing we know, you yelled out, oh, I've just swam with the whale shark. What? Yeah, well, you and Cole swam off when this whale shark came in and uh, you just left the chum there. So I stayed with it for a second and... Uh, I made a dive on the charm and as I turned around this whale shark was coming straight for me, almost ran into me. Uh, as it swam past I just grabbed the dorsal and went for a ride, it was awesome, you missed out. Good birthday present.
straight back into it the next day with some reef diving where we all got well acquainted with the local shark population. Landing anything here can be quite challenging. You're in the constant company of the taxman who is waiting to take his cut. He'll eat your chum, try and eat your flashes, and more than likely, eat your fish. On top of all of that, you have to keep an eye out for rogue whales that like to sneak up and swim through your float line. This place is epic. We decided to dive some passes that were known to hold some smaller dog tooth. Michael took a shot on a nice 28 kilo model and it was all hands on deck to try and hold him off the bottom and away from the sharks. Dogtooth tuna are notorious for being dirty fighters. Their first run is usually the hardest and you can see Michael working hard to keep it off the bottom. It was nice to finally get a doggy in the boat. We were stoked. Tonight, sashimi was on the menu. We jumped back in and I put a solid shot in a nice doggy. I fought the fish as long as I could, but the sharks started chomping into it. Unfortunately, they cleaned him up before I even hit the surface. We called it quits on the pass and headed out to some deeper reef to chase some smaller fish. With a mix of volcanic and reef coral, there are some awesome swim throughs and amazing marine life. After some bad luck with the doggy, I was stoked to finally land some fish. We called it a day and headed back in to cook up our fresh fish for dinner. Our Tongan mate Freddie cooked us an awesome fish dish during our stay and Michael tried to recreate it. Oh. Really nice dish. 
Seems like he just egg batters it and cooks it with uh, oyster sauce and onions. And just kind of winging it, seeing how I go. Kind of looks alright though. So it is Ume, this little guy here. Unicorn surgeon fish, I think it is. Um, egg battered, deep fried, put into a pan with fried onions, oyster sauce, uh, watered down a little bit, and then just sprinkled with some spring onions at the end. Spring onions? Spring onions. Hi guys, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this episode as much as we did making it. Um, Hopi has some phenomenal diving. We hardly just scratched the surface. So, um, got so much, so much footage. So to show much. You, so. Tune in next time for part two. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, so you don't miss out. And uh, thanks so much to our patrons out there helping us uh, make these videos possible. Um, your shirts should be in the mail. You should have received so, them by now. Shirts and stickers. So, um, yeah, and if you want one, <laughs> just head on over to the link below in our uh, bio there. Well, I don't know. Head, the link's at the end of the video, so mm. just follow that and you can uh, figure out how to go from there. Oh no, the pieces of the puzzle have been sold off. I don't know who made them now, they're all gone. Never to be whole again in my heart.